my name's Katrina Doherty, and welcome to Inspiration, celebrating women in business and the arts. On today's show, Diana Abruzzi explains how and why she's at IWFCI. We interview legendary fashion designer Jenny Bannister, get some invaluable makeup tips from Rose Di Carbone, and we talk cheese and wine with Naomi Crisante at the Good Food and Wine Show. Hi, welcome to Inspiration. Today we're talking with Diana Abruzzi, Chairwoman and Founder of the IWFCI. Thank you for joining us and welcome. My pleasure. What is the IWFCI and what encouraged you to start such a fabulous organisation? The IWFCI is the International Women's Federation of Commerce and Industry. And what inspired me to start it was that I felt that there was a gap in the market mm -hmm. and that women were becoming very strong leaders in their own businesses and they needed a very serious, solid chamber of commerce that they could relate to and get the kind of services that they needed and be listened to. And what sort of women are involved in the WFCI and how can other women get involved in other networks similar? We like to actually encourage business owners mm -hmm. because we are trying to develop women-to-women -women trade with uh, uh, countries across the Asia-Pacific. And what sort of services do you provide? We do a lot of mentoring. Uh -huh. uh, we hold forums uh, on key issues. Uh, we always have speakers that can uh, benefit the uh, people that or members that come. Uh, we try to, in mentoring them, if somebody has um, a problem in their business, uh, we actually call on other members uh, who are experts in that area who will come in and sit with them and support them and work through the area of their problems. So you're doing a great job with bringing small and medium business women together from all over the world. Yes, yes. So it's fantastic. There's still a lot of work to do. <laughs> we haven't conquered it all yet. <laughs> and what inspired you to start? And what, who is your inspiration in general? Well, I'd have to say my mother was my first inspiration. Um, not that she was a businesswoman, mm -hmm. but she was a great encourager. And she just said, you know, go for it, whatever it is you want to do. Don't let there be barriers. Just let there be um, areas that you can overcome. So I, and she was a great mentor, and she was actually to the entire family. At the end, she had 32 great-grandchildren. Wow. And she was the rock of our family. I think she, everyone came to her uh, for advice and wisdom, including myself. <laughs> and from then on, uh, my husband actually became my rock um, mm -hmm. to help and supported me through the whole length of IWCI. He's been absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. And what advice would you give to other women that want to get into business, that want to get into networking and meeting other women in business and build a network for themselves? Well, you do have to belong to a network. Mm -hmm. And I do encourage you to um, consider IWFCI mm -hmm. because we are international and we are trying to develop the local scene very strongly. Um, we've taken uh, members to Dubai. We've taken them to Korea we've, on trade missions, um, we've taken them to India and so we're very much to encourage um, taking them overseas to have a look at how business is done overseas, to meet potential clients mm -hmm. um, because that's the way it's done, um, to go to conferences over there where many, many nations come into one conference, women, um, and this is happening more and more around the world. Mm -hmm. Women are meeting on a more regular basis at conferences. There's so many women's conferences on now being held in different countries that it is just the potential of, of finding business and business partners and friendship because it all starts with friendship. Mm -hmm. Business, international business starts with friendship. I think it's a really good thing that women are starting to get their old, own old girls network rather than the old boys network and really helping each other and relying on each other and um, especially to move businesses forward and um, creating a name for themselves as well. I think it seems to be something that's really in um, the public eye at the moment and something that's just going to grow and grow and grow. It will grow. Um, I just did a, a speech in China uh -huh. <coughs> just before um, Christmas and I honestly believe that this is the woman's century. Mm. 
And, but the thing is, what kind of leaders are we going to be? It's all very well, we, we strive to become leaders, we strive to have our part and our say, but what kind of leaders are we really going to be? Um, if you look at some of the Fortune 500 um, lead women who are leaders of some of those companies, they've all said that they are all much wealthier since the women took over in the leadership of those Fortune 500 companies. So we must be bringing something very special to the corporate world. That's true. I think that it's a, sh it's a shame, and I talk to a lot of women, and mm. I especially talk to women you know, for this program, and some very, very successful women, and they say to me, oh, I'm very, very shy. They just lack the confidence, which is, they've done so much, but they just, they don't really yes. know how to, yes. I don't know, feel that they've achieved so much. So yes. I think that hopefully that yes. will change as well. Well, I think your show is going to help a lot of women too. So um, oh, it just shows that it can be done. Yeah. And, and the thing is to believe in yourself yeah. and to believe in your dreams. Yeah. I mean, I dreamt IWFCI. I dreamt IWFCI before I even got at the first meeting. I saw it right across the world, uh, networking with business women across the world. I saw it and I held on to that vision. I think if you believe it, you can do it. Absolutely. And I went through, through rocky times, I can tell you. Um, I had cancer there for a while and uh, that shook me quite a yeah, lot. I but I got through that, we kept going and we did it. I think that just proves if you if you want it bad enough, you can achieve anything. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So what's next for you, Diana? Oh my goodness, well I'm going to retire at the end of the year and I'm going to write a book. Wow, what's it on? Well, the book is going to be about my journey mm -hmm. and it's going to be called From the Ironing Board to the Boardroom. <laughs> it's about um, believing in yourself mm -hmm. It's about my journey into poverty with the Philippines and the poor there. I went to India mm -hmm. and the burnt brides. I've, I've, I was a courier for the underground church in China wow. uh, for about a year and I've got many stories to tell from that. Uh, my whole inspiration has been as a Christian and I suppose I've always had a great faith in my God and that he has given me a talent, that we're all given talents, and that that talent will be used even more. Um, but it's, I hope to be, it to be an inspiration to other women who can come out of marriage or a divorce, or they can, the children have just gone mm -hmm. into school and it feels there's something there for them. Because I remember um, walking out of the tax shop uh, when my children in primary school, thinking to myself, my gosh, there's got to be more to life than this. <laughs> <laughs> and so began my journey, um, which has been quite an interesting journey. Um, and I'll put that all in my book well, and hope it inspires and is, is an inspiration to other women. Well, thank you so much, Dana, for talking my with pleasure. us. My pleasure. Till next time, be inspired. Inspiration.